What is up guys, welcome to another my NBA 2K video. We have a flash gauntlet that is going to start tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Time. Not sure what time that is going to be actually for everybody else, but at least for me, it starts in approximately 14 hours. It's been a few weeks since they've done a flash gauntlet. If you remember, the very last flash gauntlet was one that they had a bunch of record setters for. Which was cool. I mean, I like record setters. I love their cards. I love the style, but it's really hard to get those uh, duped just because you got to buy a bunch of packs in order to try to get the good cards anyway. So we're going to check out this gauntlet. We're going to take a look at the cards. We're going to take a look at the theme. I'm going to give you, I don't know, general impressions of what I think about the Flash gauntlet. Let me know in the comments what y'all are going for, uh, what card. If you're going to try to finish it, you know, all of that stuff. Also, if you do enjoy, don't forget to hit that thumbs up in the description. I do have a link to that Discord. Come check us out. Find some players for 2v2 matches. Post some pictures for your draft board polls. Talk some basketball, all that stuff. So let's get into checking out this Flash Gauntlet. Like I said, it is going to start tomorrow, 14 hours for me. And um, very first card, Epic Prime Tyron Lou, coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers back in the day, Orlando Magic Throwback Thursday. Pretty, I mean, it's cool. I, I like being able to see him back when he was a player, um, you know, because there are a lot of coaches that weren't players, that they're just coaches. And so it's pretty cool to see some of these guys back when they used to play basketball, even if they weren't all that good. At least it's kind of cool to be able to see them. But that is the very first ladder for this week's Flash Gauntlet on the Orlando Magic, which is kind of cool. I like, I still like seeing him uh, back in the day. But we got the second card as an Epic Prime. Another throwback Thursday, uh, Tyrone Corbin, which played on like 18,000 teams in the NBA. I think he played on... I don't know. I think I remember him playing on maybe like eight or ten. I mean, he played on a crap ton, and he used to be the coach or assistant coach for the Suns, and they fired him recently. Not sure exactly what he is doing or if he's still coaching or where he's at or if he got hired somewhere else, but again, still cool seeing a coach that uh, I used to watch and used to be on the team that I like and seeing an old card for him. Again, even though he wasn't the greatest of NBA players, he was still an NBA player and still a coach. Still coached, you know, on my favorite team. So that's pretty neat. I like that. And that is the elite card. Then we're moving on to the star card. We have a record setter, unfortunately, even though I really like these cards. They're just so hard to pro. Doc Rivers, coach of the Clippers, back on the Atlanta Hawks. And you can probably tell by now, after the first three cards, kind of an idea of the theme that they are going with here. You know, all coaches that used to be NBA players. I don't know exactly how many of them there are in the league. I'm sure if you added assistant coaches and all of that stuff too, I'm sure there's quite a few of them. So not exactly sure why they picked certain ones, but this is the star card, record setter, Doc Rivers, point guard, which is awesome, but I don't have any use for star cards, even though it's cool. Moving on, we got Lenny Wilkins, again, used to be a coach, um, I honestly don't remember where he coached, but I don't think he coaches anymore. Where did he coach? It, let me know in the comments if you know where he coached. I, I, for some reason, I am drawing a blank. I don't know. Um, I don't know where he coached. I can't remember. But still on the Hawks, the St. Louis Hawks. So you know this dude is old as dirt. Um, so another point guard, which is uh, pretty awesome for me. I don't have this card. Can't do anything with it though. But still a cool looking card, especially the old jerseys with the old teams that are no longer there anymore. Superstar, and then moving on to the Icon Foil, which is Kevin McHale, another coach, obviously. And um, this would be a great card for me if it wasn't a power forward. I have absolutely a crap ton of power forwards, especially on the Legend tier. And unless it is a Legend Pro, yeah, power forwards really don't do me any good. Even if I had it, which I don't, you know, I don't even have it to do anything with. But still, it is cool. It's a pretty solid icon card. 
So for those of you that are looking to boost your deck, I mean, these a lot of these cards would be pretty cool. A lot of them are foils, which I really like. Not too much a fan of them record setters. I love the cards. Like I said, just the fact that you have to dupe them from packs is the most frustrating thing, and they'll just sit in your deck forever. But, uh, yeah, that is the Icon tier. And then moving on to the very last one, we got Steve Kerr, again, another coach. I am a little partial to this guy because of the University of Arizona, which is where I went to school. On the Bulls, which is awesome. Really good back then. Amazing shooter. Record setter for, let's see, what does it say? Uh, Three-point field goal percentage. So, I mean, he was an awesome shooter. Point guard, which would be amazing. That, that This would actually help my deck. Just even a regular record setter at the point guard position would help my deck. No doubt about it, but all of the other cards wouldn't. And to have to go through it just for one single card, I'm really not sure about that. But that is the very last one, Coach. Golden State Warriors. I like how they put Kerr as the legend and we got Lou all the way back at Epic Prime. So obviously, um, I mean, even though Kerr obviously was a better player uh, than Lou was, but it's still a little funny how we have Warriors, Cavs, and we have Kerr at Legend, Lou at Epic Prime. But that are all. those are all the cards. Let me know in the comments. What do y'all think about these? Are you excited? Are you trying to get any of these? Do you have any of these Throwback Thursdays or Record Setters? I mean, there's only two cards. We got two foils, two Record Setters, two Throwback Thursdays. I really think it was cool, though, that they did the coaches thing. I think that's a neat little touch, a neat little uh, – I, I, like I said, I like to see coaches – Back when they were players, I think that is really neat, and I like the whole idea behind it. Even though I'm not necessarily interested in any of these cards, except for the Kerr, but to go through the entire gauntlet in that short of a time frame, just to get one single card that I'll never be able to pro unless they drop a free pro obviously but um yeah those are all the cards let me know in the comments what y'all think i just wanted to put this out there just in case some people have not seen let you get a heads up that it is going to start soon but that is going to do for video if you did enjoy hit that thumbs up let me know in the comments what y'all think check out that discord i will see y'all in the next video i'm out peace